sabotage, not open warfare in the fucking streets. That's my problem. Jesus it's Christ, they could RP, like, a like get an explosives, go into the railway line, planting bombs on that, what the admins can do is when the train comes, they could just pretend it derailed. You know, they can use a fist gun to grab it and make it go off. <laughs> oh shit, these niggas are getting real sick. One three. attack. Like, like, that's it. The NSDAP got attacked five times yesterday. Opened all the resistance. Heavy oh, guns, 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 if I remember he was I, I, No, he he wasn't in the service. He was part of the Nazi party and then they had suspicion of him when they found out his wife was Jewish, which is why he Oh, you mean in the Allied movie? Hustle. I know what you're is talking that what about. They did? Oh shit, what the hell is that? Rip. Um, I if I remember correctly, I believe he was arrested. And the second time, like he was already warned one time when they found his wife was Jewish. The second time, they caught him trying to escape. I forget where it was. With his wife, though, they, they tried to get out of Germany. They arrested him. Uh, his wife was sent to Auschwitz, I think, and he was put in a penal battalion in which he died because it was, you know, a suicide mission squad. And he died doing that. Yep. But he's remembered, but he, he got fucking, he, got, he just got wrecked. <laughs> he just got wrecked. Uh, I'm carried in the order here, I hate the Nazi party. Not all of them. And uh, based on what I've looked at from certain years, a lot of the Vermac were conscripted into the SS. Not all the SS were die-hard anti-Jewish fanatics. Many of them were fighting because of the fact they wanted to keep their country alive. They did not want their country to fall under Bolshevism. Um, um, a lot of the a lot of the people at the time were more hatred of the commies than they were hatred of the Jews. The Jews were an added part. Basically, there was tons of just workers' parties in Germany. And then just the Nazi, Nazi party became the most influential of it, and they sort of just all absorbed into one collective party. Uh, character, if you're given an order, you know, and you're an infantryman, you can't say, I, do, I'm not, I don't want to do his orders, because you're going to be out of the service if you do that. You're just going to get straight up court martial. You have to obey what you're ordered. Perhaps you can resist, but you cannot disobey. It's like there was a German poster that says loose, that says in German, loose lips kills, kill Kamaraden. You know? And it shows like, a, you know it, is. It, uh, it shows a German soldier talking to a civilian, and then it shows, uh, behind him, it, it shows people, it shows soldiers dying because of his, his blabber mouth in. You know, because, um, you know, if you're in the army and you, when you're on leave, you go talking to people about, you know, oh, we're planning this, you know, we're planning this, this, and this, you know. That person may be with you, even if he's your friend, he may not be a hundred percent your friend. You know? He may be your friend because he knows that you might know info. That's why they said, that's why they say that it's better to be quiet than to, than, than, than not to be quiet. I mean, anyway. Oh, yeah, guys. Yo, dude, we gotta, we gotta, like, we need to get more civvies. We have tons and tons of fucking people. I, we don't I, have much I, I am never, ever gonna be a civvy.
Screw like it. civvies, I don't mean people that just stand around. I mean like business owners and people like that. Like we have a few, I do not want to but be not too many. They've already gone over this and they've said they will not close the recruitment because they all feel like they're being... It's like if a lot of people want to join the army, it's a bit unfair for the people that want to join. You can't really close it off because people will be like, why is it closed? Is this bullshit? I'm leaving. And then they just leave. They can't. Rich well, I mean, has already said. Then what just happens is people just get kicked out. They can't afford to keep high, like too many high officers. It's what just, they do. Is they train. It's what they do. They train and they weed out the ones who are not good. You fire the ones who are shit. You know, basically ones who don't d obey orders, who don't listen. You know, you you take the cream of the crop, basically. You take the best from the top, and then you work your way and you filter it. So you filter out the shit ones, you know, the shit Vermac. Yeah, heck yeah, that sounds great. Mm. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, I think we should get in character, guys. Nice, nice okay, conversation. Okay, well, let's go back, let's go back in character. nothing on it. I don't believe that's how passports work, sir. Hey Adolf, can you tell me that what, what, how, we, how this server handles checkpoint duty yeah. in there? Basically, out of character, how this checkpoint works... I've been how the server before. This is my first time on the server. Yeah, but how there's been checkpoint updates, what we do is you're meant to uh, you're meant to fill in your bio with okay, info okay. about you. The last time staff was on they said I'm more than welcome to tour about the server. I'm on here only to do a simple RP and see how the server operates. Ultimately I can give you any type of you know, I can tell you that I'm six one. Uh, yeah, but I'm a clean ship and I heads. like serious RP, so I like to handle checkpoints as serious as they as they were. And let you break RP and cause issues without any reason. I'm going to go ahead and continue on my way now, unless there's any actual issues uh, that you see there. I'll carry it fine, but fix it, and then we won't have any issue. Of course. Have a nice. Day. 